What's up, YouTube? Dylan here with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar. I hope you guys are having a great start to your morning, afternoon, or have a great evening, wherever you are around the world. Thank you so much. My name is Dylan with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as that really, really helps my videos more than you know, just by hitting that thumbs up. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure to hit the bell button, the push notification, so you never miss another one of my videos or my live streams. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel, and I hope you guys are enjoying the coffee community. Now, today we have a pretty fun video and an interesting video at that. Uh, I'm gonna be diving deeper into this area of coffee, but I wanted to just do a brief video for you guys today. So I actually have a bag of Good Brothers coffee that I've had for about a little over three weeks now uh, in the refrigerator, or in the freezer, not refrigerator, in the freezer. So I've been freezing these, uh, this bag. I had it in, uh, just in a saran wrap and then put into a plastic bag. Now, I do want to get um, an airtight so that way I can just seal them up but I don't have that at the moment. So I just stuck these in a saran wrap, put them in a bag and stuck them in the freezer. And um, I am going to then pull a shot of espresso with frozen coffee. So I actually just transferred those beans into here. So we got a full fresh bag of beans in here. They are still very cold, obviously, because they've been in the freezer for quite some time. But one thing I can note just off of opening the bag so far is the smell, the aroma that comes from this bag right now is absolutely insane. So I know normally when you open up a fresh bag of coffee, you get a pretty nice aroma that comes from the bag. And that's just because obviously it's been air sealed for quite some time uh, from the roaster. But uh, I can tell you that it is intensified by quite a bit. So really really happy so far just with the smell but we are going to pull a shot and see now a lot of people have asked me can you still pull a shot or can you still grind beans when they're frozen absolutely they don't really freeze they just get really really cold so um, again i'm going to go ahead and pull a shot but before i do that i actually have a package that i want to unbox for you guys today so this actually was sent to me uh, by Brent over at Good Brothers. So I wanna give a special thank you to Brent. Uh, I am going to be doing a video on different mugs and glasses that I currently have in the setup that I have right now, but I do want to just kind of unbox this for you guys today. So uh, if you guys are new to uh, coffee or to the channel or new to Good Brothers Coffee, uh, definitely go check them out. Good Brothers Coffee, are they are micro roasters who pretty much when you order on their website, they pretty much just within that day or the next day, they get coffee roasted and sent out to you guys, extremely fresh. If you guys haven't experimented with freshly roasted coffee, you're missing out. Definitely highly recommend it. But this was sent to me. And so I know a lot of you guys are familiar with Kruv. So I am also going to be doing a video on that as well. But here is a Kruv double walled insulated glass here, which are really nice. I really, really enjoy double walled insulated glasses because obviously there is no sweating involved and you can grab it and it's not hot ever. So that's really nice. Now I also have a Joy Jolt, which is uh, my first dual walled espresso glass when I first started my channel. These have been really nice, but I just don't really, they're not very practical, especially when you want to make like an iced Americano or um, like you can even do like a latte, but not in here. This is just strictly for espresso. But the nice thing with Kruv and the nice thing with Good Brothers new glass is the fact that they are really big. So this is the new glass from Good Brothers. Or they are now available on his website. So if you go to goodbrothers.com, you will see these glasses as well. I think he also has some kind of deal that if you purchase so much, you get a free glass. I'm not sure if that is still going on, but definitely worth going to check out. So again, thank you, Brent, for sending me this. But here is the dual walled glass here. Really, really big. I mean, comparing it to my hand, it's pretty decent size. So with here, I really like so far how it has this little tiny, uh, little tiny ridge here, which it doesn't seem like it's a big deal, but I think just for purposes of holding it, the comfortability and just kind of swirling it around because the more you aerate your coffee, the better, in my opinion, it tastes because you get that aroma that's stirred up. You, you mix that crema, which is most of the time pretty bitter. 
uh, really, really good. So pretty excited for this cup. But I do like how the base and the, uh, the top part of the cup are the same. And it has a nice wide open mouth here to where you can smell the aroma as you're drinking it. I'm kind of weird. I like to smell my coffee when I'm drinking. I just feel like you get more of a tasting profile. But more on this soon. So again, just a big shout out to Brent for sending me that dual wall glass to review on the channel. Like I said, that will be coming soon. But on to the main topic of the day. We are going to be grinding up some frozen coffee beans and pulling a shot. So these coffee beans are a little over three weeks old. Now, the, the bag was just opened. So keep that in mind. The bag was just opened and they are... Uh, pretty fresh still. I would say that if you didn't freeze these within um, the first couple days of receiving and you opened up a bag after three weeks, you are going to notice some decline in the, uh, the crema and the just extraction of the shot. However, we are going to see does freezing coffee make it last longer? So we're going to get to that now. So you hear that? All the air releasing from the canister here, so if you see, it's a more of a uh, medium, light to medium roast here. Uh, really, really nice. Uh, this is actually strawberry, papaya, and what was the other one? And lemon, so really nice. This is probably one of my favorite ones for pour, or for pour over or for espresso making an iced Americano. So we're gonna make an iced Americano today, and we're just gonna go ahead and pull a shot. So. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, thank you so much for tuning in. And I have to, uh, if you guys are new to the channel, I do have to avoid my dogs at all times because they are everywhere. Right, babies? Yes. So if I am tripping over anything, you know why. But we'll get past that. All right, so here we go. So we are going to start out by dosing out. 20 grams. I like to do 20 gram shots, especially with the Linea Mini. So here we go. So again, if you guys would like to support the channel, uh, there are super chats and super stickers available on my live to where you guys can directly donate to the channel. Also with any of the links that I have posted below to Amazon, uh, that also if you were to purchase anything after clicking that link, even if it's not the exact item that I posted, I will make a small percentage and it will help me pr uh, purchase more items to review for you guys on the channel. So uh, again, I appreciate it. You guys can also go to my Patreon account and you guys can also directly donate to me through PayPal on my link tree uh, posted on the video after I get done and also on my Instagram. So right now I am dosing out 20 grams and I am going to be using grind setting. Let's see. I think we're gonna use 12, 13, 14, 15. Not sure exactly, let's go to 16. We'll go to grind setting 16. Now I'm not sure, um, I've never grinded frozen coffee before, but normally I like to start with 13 or 14 when it's fresh, but since it is three weeks old and it was frozen, I'm gonna go a little bit coarser. I think maybe with the frozen, it's gonna be different. So let's see. And then if you guys have a niche uh, and it is obviously a zero retention, zero, um, you want to make sure to use this suction cup just to get the rest of those beans out. And it works very, very well. So we dosed out 20 grams and we got exactly 20 grams out. So really, really nice. Definitely worth, I think this is like $7. I'll post this uh, on the video as well when it ends. I think most of you might have it unless you're new to the channel. So one thing that you can see, uh, just, just because this is the first time and obviously we're just experimenting, Really, really nice. It grinded actually very, very well. There's a little bit of static on the side there on the cup, as you can see, but uniformity in there is really nice. So definitely extremely happy with that. Not any big noticeable clumps that are going to um, impact the coffee. So yeah, really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and, 
So one thing I do want to say though, is if you guys are grinding into a cup and then transferring to a porter filter, make sure, um, unless it's a darker roast and obviously it's like extremely stuck, you don't want to tap the cup or tap the porter filter because you're actually going to uh, create a more likely chance that you're going to get channeling. So make sure that you can, you just kind of stir it like this to get it off the sides of the cup, if anything. So that way you're not impacting the, uh, the grinds as much. But if you do tap the cup, make sure you are using the uh, wise distribution technique, which is going to help you out a ton. So here we go. We're just going to go ahead and transfer. I like to just shake it a little bit. I don't like to tap it too, too much, like I said, and just transfer it over. Clean cup. Smells absolutely fantastic. Um, I am going to use WDT really quick. So I'm going to put this down. And we are going to distribute here, or wise distribution technique. So one thing I like to do is just, let me get you guys at a good angle. Someone is at my house. Gotta love lives. All right, so there we have a pretty nice base here. Babies, hey, shh. Good thing with lives, guys. Never gets old, never gets old. All right. So now we are just going to slightly tap, not hard. And then we are going to just... And there we go. So using the Pullman, you do get that really nice clean edge there pretty much every time. And you have a nice, nice flat surface here. So we are gonna go ahead and pull a shot. So bear with me. All right, so I'm gonna bring you guys down here. All right, so this does take a bit of time, but it is going to be worth it when you guys see the extraction. Hopefully there's not a ton of channeling. And here we go. All right, let's hope for the best. So we are just going to release that first part of that water, lock it in, get our towel, wipe off the drip tray here. We are using the Akaya scale to measure it. That's the best way to stay as accurate as possible. And we're going to go ahead and use this cup. Let's hope there's not a ton of channeling because it's not going to be good. It's gonna splatter everywhere. All right, so extraction looks pretty good. A little bit of channeling there. It's not coming together that great. Okay, there we go. Again, we're shooting for 40 grams in about 25 seconds here. And that is a great shot. So if you guys can see, 27 seconds for 41.2 grams. Insane amount of crema there, which is always extremely nice. And if you guys can see the texture of that, just like to give it a couple taps here, the texture is absolutely amazing. So I got pretty lucky with my grind setting. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, and zoom out. And we're gonna go ahead and give you guys a taste test. So again, let me just adjust this tripod really quick. So overall, I would say that freezing coffee beans definitely makes a big difference because I have used in the past, just kept them out and just let them sit in the bag for three weeks to a month. Went to go pull a shot, opened the bag, brand new bag, and I did see some decline in the extraction. So cheers. It's really hot, um, but it's an extremely smooth shot. 
like I said, I got really, really lucky with the grind setting. Uh, it was at 15 or it was at 14 and I moved it to 16 just because we were dealing with frozen beans. Now, I'm not sure if the reason behind me going coarser because it was frozen was a difference or just really cold, but I just figured the coarser you went, the more of an even extraction you were going to get. So I just went a little coarser than I normally would with a very fresh bag of beans, but it worked out very, very well. So I would definitely say that freezing beans definitely makes for, um, I guess, longer span or longer life on coffee. So like I said, these are extremely cold right now. Uh, I just took them out of the freezer after um, three and a half weeks, I would say. And they are about four weeks old or three weeks old. So yeah, when, as soon as I got them, I put them straight in the freezer and I would say that it worked very well. The aroma was good. The shot was good. Um, I did use the WDT, which helps as well. So if you guys uh, don't use the wise distribution technique, I would definitely recommend using that. But yeah, overall shot quality was great. A lot of crema. Uh, shot was very good. We got the 41 grams in about 27 seconds. The, the shot timer goes up a little bit, so I would say it was more like 20 five seconds long and I got 40 about 40 grams in out so yeah really really happy with it I would say that it's very full in body uh, the taste of strawberry and papaya really really shine through the shot of espresso um, I guess with the uh, it says here that there's some lemon in there I guess kind of citrusy uh, I don't really taste the lemon too too much in here but the strawberry and the papaya really, really shine through this shot of espresso. So I would definitely recommend if you guys have not tried freezing your coffee, I would definitely recommend freezing your coffee because it is very, very good um, with that first shot. I am going to be experimenting a little bit more with frozen coffee. Uh, I do want to get a bag of beans, stick it in the freezer for about two months before I even open them and then go back to it to see if freezing coffee really, really expands the life by that long. So obviously within three weeks, uh, within three weeks span, you still will get a great shot of espresso with an extraction as long as the bag of beans is just now being opened. But I think that it definitely made the extraction a lot easier, uh, a lot more rich in color and just better all uh, full body from freezing the bag of beans. So again, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Dylan with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar. Uh, if you guys could consider hitting that like button, it helps this channel grow way more than you know it. It really supports my channel and be seen from around the world with different coffee lovers like you. Uh, also, if you guys have not already, make sure to check out dylanshomeespressobar.com where I have one-on-one -on -one barista training and if you guys do purchase my one-on-one -on -one barista training where I can teach you how to pull a shot of espresso, how to get familiar with the machine or anything that you might have questions on for 60 minutes, that is up right now. Also, you can buy t-shirts. Dylan Home Espresso Bar t-shirts are live as well. I am going to be ordering some, uh, some sweaters as well. I do have tank tops on there as well. And I also have my knock box and my bean seller. So if you guys are interested in any of those items, make sure to follow dylanshomespressbar.com or on my Etsy channel. And I greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.